Welcome back to the series of at-home strategies to reinforce learning and development. Are you looking for ways to promote science learning at home? Today we're going to do a fun milk experiment that will have your little ones wanting to do it over and over again. Children find it so fascinating to watch the twirling effects of colors. So here's a brief introduction to today's activity, Magic Milk. Parents can adjust this activity for different age ranges. Today, we're gonna to explore how you can adjust it for mobile infants, toddlers, and preschoolers. This is a great activity to do indoors, and you can use a variety of materials to experiment with this activity. Materials needed. Enough milk to just cover the bottom of the bowl, pie plate, or plate, whichever you prefer to use. You can use Q-tips, cotton balls or pipettes to twirl the colors together, and any type of dish that will work for this experiment. So magic milk instructions. Start by pouring your milk into a baking dish or another flat bottom surface. You will then add approximately five to six drops of food coloring. You can use a variety of colors. Prepare the liquid dish soap in a small bowl adding a small amount of water and mix with the end of the Q-tip. Place the soap-soaked Q-tip into the center of the milk dish. This photo on the bottom was taken just after we placed the soap-soaked Q-tip into the center of the milk. It demonstrates how the colored food color disperses outwards to the side of the plate. Now time for the fun, let's play. The food coloring begins to twirl and move around the plate once the dish soak, soaked Q-tip is added. It appears to work like magic and is fascinating to watch as the many shades of colors start forming, combining, and also separating, leaving the bright white of the milk. Extend the learning by experimenting with different types of milk. You can use soy milk, coconut milk, chocolate milk, or even buttermilk. Learn about mixing colors. You can add red and blue food coloring to make purple, yellow and blue to make green, and even red and yellow to make orange. The twirling effect mixes the colors together, making a new color. You can also use pipettes. Using pipettes is, a great, is great for your fine motor skills. You can use cotton balls and talk about the difference and similarities that you observe using each material what is happening to the colors. This activity promotes learning in various ways. Scientific thinking, predictions, your children are making observations, they are comparing, they are reasoning, experimenting and evaluating. Their language development improves using descriptive words to express ideas and opinions. They make connections with real life experiments. They're using milk that they drink at home. They're using Q-tips, cotton balls. Their hand-eye coordination is improving. Concentration and also cause and effect. Tips for parents. Here are some questions to ask your children to promote, to promote their learning. These are questions you could ask your older toddlers and preschoolers. What did you notice? What happened when you placed the cotton swab in the milk? Why do you think that happened? What else did you observe? You will want to give your children time to answer. Let them use their imaginations and follow the, their lead. For your mobile infants and younger toddlers, you'll want to provide them with more guidance and support. You'll help them use the, the cotton swabs, the Q-tips, the pipettes, more than you'll help your preschoolers. Your preschoolers will be doing this more independently. You'll just be there asking them questions, getting them to think more, um, and just providing them with the support that is needed. Thank you all for joining the fun today. We would love to hear about your milk magic. Add comments or pictures below.